guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another video for you guys I'm gonna be showing you how I do this really nice and intricate updo on my 4C natural hair I'm gonna be also using Ali K Naturals products to create this yeah if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below sit tight and let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another video for you guys. I haven't done like a proper proper updo in a while. So I decided to do one again for you guys. I'm going to be using Ali K Naturals products to create this. Um, those products are super moisturizing. But yeah, we're going to get into that in the video. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for when I upload my videos. And without further ado, sit tight and let's jump straight into the video. So I'm starting on shrunken hair that is kind of dry and I'm also going to be moisturizing in this video So I'm going to start by separating my hair into four sections So we have um, a part down the middle Then we're going to split the left and the right side into two parts So I'm um, yeah, sectioning all the way back like that So we have two on one side and two on the other side I normally section my hair off camera because it's easier for me to just section it off and show you guys how the section should look. So on the outermost part, I'm going to be doing flat twists there as you guys will see. So I've done flat twists on one side. I have seven flat twists and I'm going to do the same seven flat twists to the other side. So these are the products I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using the lock method to moisturize my hair. So at first I'm starting with the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. That's what the L in the lock method stands for, a leave-in conditioner or a liquid. So this leave-in conditioner contains silk proteins which help to nourish and rebuild damaged hair, aloe vera which moisturizes and strengthens your hair, and lemongrass which reduces shedding and promotes shine and volume. So I spray a good amount of that into my hair and it really penetrates the hair strands to keep my hair strong and moisturized. And you can also use that every day next I'm gonna be taking the glaze argan oil hair silk now this is a very non greasy and weightless oil I really love how it feels and it can be used in the O of the lock method for moisturizing so as an oil and um, it contains argan oil vitamin E omega-3 essential fatty acids which are very good for your hair next I'm gonna be taking the Shea yogurt hair moisturizer this is a very thick butter so it can be used in the C of the lock method which is a cream or a butter that just seals in all the moisture because of how thick it it is it is perfect for very kinky coarse type 4 hair it contains raw shea butter argan oil and coconut oil so in addition to moisture it also gives your hair a nice shine I take a little amount apply it to my palm rub my palm together to basically warm up the butter a bit before I apply it to my hair so that it coats all my strands and seals in a lot of moisture so now I've gone ahead and done my parts for the flat twist as you guys can see and I'm about to start flat twisting so like I said, I'm going to be doing seven flat twists on each side. I already did seven on one side. I've done three on this other side and I'm going to keep flat twisting. So yeah, I'm just basically showing you guys my hair and my hair texture before I start doing my flat twists. I like to separate my hair a bit before I do my flat twists on each section. It just makes flat twisting easier for me. So I am flat twisting as, as you guys can see. And one thing I really I forgot to mention these products you can use them every day the leave-in conditioner and the oil are very lightweight so they don't really cause excess buildup or greasiness on your hair so you can actually use these products every day to moisturize your hair so I've done with them um, about five flat twists I have like um, yeah two more You want to make your flat twist as neat as possible because of how my hair really freezes up and coils up and stuff I don't really get my flat twist very neat but like this is the best they can look but yeah just try and make your flat twist look as neat as possible so now for the middle I'm done with my side flat twist I'm gonna go ahead and do my moisturizing process apply my leave-in conditioner as my liquid apply the oil that's the um, glaze hair silk now then I'm going to apply the Shea Yoga Hair Moisturizer, obviously, to just moisturize my hair and make it soft before we jump into the next part. So now, for the middle part, the part that looks complicated, um, I promise if you follow the steps, it's super easy. So as you guys can see, I've cut out a small portion right there. 
I remember we split the hair down the middle too, so it's like two sections. So, anyways, I used the um, two flats which I do. I, I did at the side as a gauge for the length, the thickness. Sorry, of the section. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take since it's split into two, I'm gonna take one half, the right half, and do a simple roll. So I'm rolling it down to my scalp and I'm going to use a bobby pin to secure it. So we're basically going to be doing a roll and tuck throughout our hair from the top to the bottom. From the bottom to the top, sorry. So I'm taking the left side and I'm also going to do a simple roll and tuck. If you're doing this on someone else's head, it's even easier to do and practice makes perfect. Since I was doing this on my head, it was kind of difficult for me because I had to also record at the same time and watch what I was doing at the back. But yeah, um, it's a very easy style if you practice it and if you're doing it on someone else's head. So the second level, as you guys can see, I'm using the flat twist at the side as a gauge for where I want my second level to be at. Doing the same thing, I'm rolling and tucking the right side first. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the left side. You can start with the left side first if you like. I just started with the right side. So I've pinned one side. Arranging, it, making sure everything looks nice. I'm using the mirror in front of me. There's also a mirror behind me so I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm, I'm rolling the left side. Roll it and tuck it. So as you can see, the shape is starting to form a bit. So you're actually supposed to roll the twist in with the sections. I forgot to roll the first two. So what I'm just going to do is just tuck them in the middle of the parts that are already rolled. So I'm just basically tucking them in. Subsequently, I'm going to be rolling the twist into the hair instead of tucking in like this. You guys will see it as I'm doing it. So like I said, I did seven flat twists on each side. I've tucked in the first two on each side, so I have five more left and five more rows of roll and tucks. So the next row, I'm going to use um, the flat twist at the side as the gauge for the next row and as you can see I'm rolling the flat twist, the end of the twist into the hair that I'm rolling and tucking. So it's just going to save me from having to fold it in like I did the first two. Just roll it in from the start. I'm using a bobby pin to secure it. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Rolling the twist in with the hair before I tuck it down with the bobby pin. As you can see, the back is starting to form. And I'm just going to keep doing that same thing till I get to the top of my head. Like I said, practice makes perfect. So this is what it looks like. I've done all seven rows. All seven flat twists are tucked into my hair. This is what it looks like all around. So for the front portion, I'm going to swoop it to the side a bit. Wrap my hair around like that. Then basically twirl up the end and pin it down with a bobby pin. Like I said previously, practice makes perfect when it comes to this style. And also, the shorter your hair is, the easier it will actually be for you to do. From my experience with doing other people's hair, rolling and tucking shorter hair is much easier than rolling and tucking longer hair, I promise you. So yeah, this is a style that will work even better for people with shorter hair. So next, I'm going to be moisturizing my scalp with the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. Now this is another very lightweight formula and it is a blend of 17 essential oils and herbs that help to promote um, hair growth. As you can see the little particles in the oil, those are like I guess bits and pieces of the herbs. But yeah, I apply that directly to my scalp and just massage it in. The oil helps to um, reduce dandruff and scalp irritation and it also basically keeps your follicles healthy so that it stimulates hair growth and just keeps your hair healthy in general. But yeah, this is the finished result. This is the finished style. Like I said, practice makes perfect. 
if you want your style to come out a bit smoother you can definitely blow out your hair before you do the style but personally I like my updos to show my texture I have them to, I like them to have a little bit of texture that's why I just do my hair like that but yeah this is the final result if you have any questions at all about any part of this style feel free to leave it down below and I'll try my best to answer you can definitely get all these products at Target and yeah stay tuned to the end of this video for more information concerning the products okay so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section you can definitely get your products at select target stores um yeah the products are made with all natural ingredients no harmful chemicals no harsh chemicals or anything like that no alcohol no mineral oil no sulfates no parabens it has really really nice and healthy organic ingredients and the smell is amazing it has this kind of lemony buttery smell the smell of these products is super amazing I absolutely love how moisturizing it is I really liked all the products I used there was no product I tried that I did not like um the butter the hair moisturizing butter and the leave-in conditioner and the oil go so well together and the products were done based on the lock method so you have the leave-in conditioner that's the L you have the O which is the oil then you apply the butter or the moisturizer last for the cream I know some people like to do LCO as opposed to LOC but personally I've always been using the lock method LOC method to moisturize my hair and I find that using those three products together in that order is absolutely wonderful when it comes to moisture in your hair all the products I use are from Ali K naturals and they will all be listed down below in the description box the lashes I'm wearing are from Leilano Beauty as usual I'm wearing the style Lala that will also be down in the description box as well yeah um, I really 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 love the way this style turned out the more practice you do the better you get at rolling and talking it takes some practice but yeah um this is my final result and don't forget to like comment subscribe and please share bye guys